Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Leap of the Week. And this is part three of our discussion around good scapular mechanics. We were talking in part one about how there's different kinds of winging of the scapula and what might be the cause for each of those. And in part two, I showed you a standing up exercise that helps you to find this upward rotation, because it tends to be a movement that everyone needs to be better at. This first version of uh, the upward rotation that I'm going to show you here is probably the easiest of all of these ones. And then the second one I'm going to show you here is probably the hardest. So I think in order of easy to difficult, it will be this one, and then the standing one from the second video, and then the last one here, if you're trying to progress this and make it harder for yourself. So the activity, it's not very complicated. It's, you know, it's your standard, I'm in yoga class, and I'm pushing back into child's pose. Only typically when we do that, we are just kind of, you know, you've done a bunch of things and you're tired and you just kind of go, oh, whatever, and you're not really thinking about it. What I'd like you to do here is use that movement to help treat, uh, train your scapula and teach it how to do upward rotation and how to get that serratus muscle to help. So the way you'll do that is you're just here on your hands and knees. Instead of leading this movement by, um, you know, thinking about activating my glutes and pulling backwards that way, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make my lower body kind of almost like I don't have any muscular control over it. I'm going to sit back by using my arms. So I've got a little bit of that protraction going on, and I'm just thinking about pushing the floor that way to sit myself down. And I can feel the work involved in this. And it's also teaching my body sort of passively how to do a hip hinge. right? And then you can come back and do that same thing again. So if I'm trying to help someone find these muscles and I want to teach a sort of very, uh, the least effortful version, I might start here. And then possibly the most effortful version, so I wouldn't necessarily jump straight to this, is going to be if you try to do that exact same thing but in your bear crawl position. So now I'm hovering my knees. This involves a lot more abdominal strength uh, to be able to manage it, but it's that same thing. I'm not using my legs here. I'm pushing backwards. Oof. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, that just got a whole lot harder to do. And I can almost kind of resist myself by um, pushing my legs away at the same time. Ugh. <sighs> noises, as always, optional. If you feel like making the noises helps you do it, by all means, go for it. But you know, you make your life easier or harder by uh, either keeping your knees up or putting them back down. <laughs> so try those two out. See what you think. Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.